Hello everyone, this is Lata Akala. In this video, we are going to study about the next part of the enzymes that is the chemical conversions. So, chemical conversions, uh, if we see product, how this product is formed? This product is formed from the chemical that is a substrate. The substrate is converted into the product. And here what happens? The substrate binds to the active site of an enzyme and form the enzyme substrate complex, right? And this enzyme substrate complex later that form the enzyme product complex and from that enzyme and product they get deviated. The product will be released into the surrounding environment and enzymes that get freed up and which will be ready to meet the another molecule of the substrate. Here we know that enzyme substrate complex is formed. This complex formation is a very short time and this phenomenon is known as a transient phenomenon. So in the enzyme substrate complex is formed right. Here the substrate molecule that undergoes chemical changes. How? In the active sites the substrate uh, and the breaking and making of the bonds takes place. What will happen? The, the bonds present in the substrate that get broken and the new bonds are created that lead to the formation of the product. And here the, this product that is released from the active site of an enzyme and so the enzyme that transform the substrate into the product. Like this from the substrate that product is formed. The next topic is activation energy. So what is activation energy? Any reaction to get start, an external energy is needed. That energy is called as activation energy. What is activation energy? For any reaction to start, an energy, external energy is needed. That is called as activation energy. So that activation energy which is required for such large number of reactions cannot be provided by the living systems. Hence enzymes they lower the activation energy which is required for the reaction. So what is the function of the enzymes? The enzymes they decreases the, they lower the activation energy. And why the enzymes were uh, decreasing the activation energy? Because the, they lower the activation energy for a reaction to fasten the rate, rate, rate of the reaction. That is to speed up the rate of the reaction, the enzymes, they lower the activation energy. So what the enzymes were doing for any reaction, there is an activation energy is needed initially. But these enzymes, uh, to speed up the rate of reaction, they were, they were decreasing the activation energy. They, they were lowering the activation energy. They, that, is, that is the main function of the enzyme. If we see this graph, it has an x-axis and y-axis. We are seeing this graph. This is y-axis where we have seen the potential energy. And this is the x-axis where the progress of reaction. What is my potential energy? Potential energy is nothing but the stored energy. And whereas x-axis there is a progression of reaction. What is the progression of reaction? Means the transformation of the substrate into the product. That is called as progression of reaction. So in this graph uh, it is given and substrate is present here it is in one and en one energy level and product is present here it is in another energy level. We see here if energy level differences between here there is a differences in the energy level of substrate and product again in one reaction for example the product has a low energy level and substrate have high energy level that type of the reaction is called as exothermic here we need to remember exo means outside dermic means heat heat is released outside here what is happening energy content of the product is lower when compared to the energy content of the substrate here heat is liberated, exothermic, the name itself indicates the exo means outside, dermic means heat, the heat was released outside and there is no external supply of energy is required for the product. This type of reaction is called as exothermic reaction, it is very important these reactions and in another case the energy, the energy content of the substrate is low when compared to the energy content of the product. Here it is uh, reverse right 
Here the energy content of the substrate is low and when compared to the energy content of the product which is having high energy level. And this type of reaction is called as endothermic reaction. What it is called? It is called as endothermic reaction. Here endo means inside, dermic means heat. Here the heat is absorbed. In exothermic reaction heat is liberated, heat is released outside. Whereas in endothermic reaction, heat get absorbed inside. And here the energy content of the product is high and heat gets absorbed. This type of reaction is called as endothermic reaction. We see this graph. The substrate is in one, one energy level and the product, see here product is formed, right? It is in another energy level. So we can say the substrate is in high energy level and the product is in low energy level and what type of the reaction it is substrate is in high energy level and product is in low energy level that means it is exothermic reaction it is exothermic reaction uh, if in case the product is in high level and substrate is in low level energy level that is endothermic reaction and we need to observe this uh, in the graph we have uh, two curves are seen this is substrate and product is formed. Here there are two arrows are given, right? Two arrows. In one arrow, the activation energy with enzyme. And another arrow, it represents the activation energy without enzyme. We have already studied in the initial step. The enzymes, they lower the activation energy to speed up the rate of the reaction, right? Here, the first case in this uh, red color curve, see here? The activation energy is low. That means in the presence of enzyme, the activation energy is low because the enzyme that lowered the usage of activation energy. But in another curve, activation energy without enzyme, the usage of activation energy is high, right? So here the curve is also bigger than this curve. That means here the activation energy was used maximum and here the actua activation energy is very low that means in the presence of enzyme this reaction takes place this this reaction takes place in the absence of enzyme that is without enzyme the activation energy was raised and with enzyme the activation energy was lowered and this is called as activation energy the next concept is nature of enzyme action. Hence, we know that enzymes are present. This is the enzyme. It has an active site, right? See this? This is an active site where the substrate will come and bind. So, after binding the substrate to the active site of an enzyme, what is formed? Enzyme substrate complex. What it forms? Enzyme substrate complex is formed. And this uh, enzyme substrate complex is highly reactive and it is short-lived. This is called as transition state. Here, uh, the enzyme substrate complex is formed which is a very short-lived phase. And now, from the enzyme substrate complex, the enzyme product complex is formed. That means substrate is converted into the product here and form the enzyme product complex. And which is here... The enzyme and product, they both get dissociated into the product and enzyme. And here, this product that is released into its vicinity, that is into the, its surroundings. And whereas enzyme that is ready to bind with another molecule of the substrate. We see the catalytic action of the enzyme. The following events occurs. First, the substrate bind to the active site of an enzyme, right? And after binding, that induces the enzyme to alter its shape. Why the enzyme was changing its shape? Because it has to fit around the substrate, right? Tightly. So, to fit around the substrate, the enzyme, it gets the shape of the enzyme a little altered. An active site of enzyme breaks the chemical bonds present in the substrate. 
some bonds they can be um, uh, broken and a new bonds may be created so because of that the substrate is converted into the product the enzyme substrate complex is converted into the enzyme product complex and now the product is ready to release from the pro, uh, from the enzyme then both of them they get deviated enzyme releases the product free enzyme is ready to bind with the another molecule of the substrate and the product that gets released in its surroundings these are the sections which is called as catalytic cycle of enzyme action the next one is factors affecting enzyme activity so the enzyme activity is affected by several factors we know the enzymes are the proteins right which which configuration of the proteins they were they were tertiary structures of the proteins if you see the factors there are several factors like temperature ph concentration of the substrate they influences the enzymatic activity and then the first one is the temperature if you see the temperature the temperature at which enzyme acts enzyme so shows its maximum activity every enzyme has its optimum temperature what is optimum temperature where the enzyme shows its maximum activity that is called as optimum temperature if you see this graph uh, x axis temperature is given and y axis enzymatic activity is given so whenever the temperatures was go on increasing the rate of reaction were all, was also increasing but if it attains optimum temp, optimum range it reaches the maximum activity exhibits the maximum activity uh, when uh, the optimum temperature was crossed again the enzymatic activities slows down and it shows a bell shaped curve and both below and above temperatures that uh, that uh, declines the enzymatic activity if you see the low temperatures the low temperatures they makes the enzymatic activity inactive temporarily not uh, completely they make uh, enzymatic activity inactive temporarily but whereas normal rise in the temperature the enzymatic activity that get lost if you see when the enzyme is exposed to very high temperatures those high temperatures they destroy the enzymatic activity permanently that process is called as denaturation that process is called as denaturation in the high temperatures what happens we know that enzymes in the tertiary structures they have several hydrogen bonds are present those bonds are very delicate those bonds they get broken and because of that the enzyme will be denatured completely so this is called as factor that affecting the one of the enzymatic that is temperature this is the optimum temperature the next factor is ph so in addition to the temperature ph also influences the enzymatic activity like optimum temperature optimum ph is also present here also in the optimum ph the rate of reaction that is uh, the enzymatic activity that is maximum level of enzymatic activity is seen in the optimum ph any rise or fall in the ph also reduces the activity of enzyme and we know that some enzymes they work better at acidic ph and some enzymes they work at the uh, alkaline ph and every enzyme has its optimum ph where it works maximum it shows its activity maximum range that is called as optimum ph if we see this graph this is same like the graph seen in the temperature here also bell shaped curve is seen and this is the optimum ph this is a low ph and this is high ph at low ph the the reactivity is low and whenever the ph uh, reaches near to the optimum the maximum activity is shown by the enzyme and when it crosses the optimum ph the activity of the enzyme also decreases and then the concentration of the substrate also influences the rate of the reaction because if the concentration of the substrate increases that increases the rate of the reaction that increases the velocity of the reaction also but uh, this will not go further whenever the substrate concentration increases up to certain time the rate of the reaction also increases but there is a limit also for this whenever the substrate concentration was go on increasing and the rate of the reaction will not get increased it gets stopped 
this is not exceeded by further rise in the concentration of the substrate because enzymes they have the active sites right those active sites are occupied by the substrate molecules if the almost all the active sites are completely occupied by the uh, active sites that is called a saturated condition so when the enzymes they get the saturated condition here in this condition the enzyme gets saturated and there is no vacancy there is no vacant active sites are present to uh, to bind with the remaining substrate molecules of course we are add, giving additional substrate molecules but there is no enzymes available active sites are available so in that condition the enzymatic activity will get stopped that region is called as vmax if we uh, that region is called a saturated condition in that saturated condition if we have drawn a line that is called as vmax this is called as vmax means velocity that reaches the maximum extent that reaches the maximum level of the enzymatic activity is seen here and uh, next to this there is no more uh, reaction occurs and half of this half of this maximum this is up to this vmax right half of this means here half of this vmax is called as vmax by 2 or half vmax this is called half vmax and next what is a km km is called as michaelis menten's constant here since we have seen the substrate concentration and on the y axis we have seen the velocity that is the rate of reaction substrate concentration is given here here km means the concentration of the substrate at which level at which level the concentration of the substrate see here the concentration of the substrate at which level the maximum velocity of the enzyme reaction is attained see here this is the half vmax right in this level only right the substrate concentrations that attains the enzymatic action the concentration of the substrate at which level half of the maximum velocity of the enzymatic reaction is attained this is the half vmax right from this here I have drawn a line the curve is intersected and from this we have drawn a line this is called as km this is the substrate concentration and uh, this is about concentration of the substrate that influences the rate of the reaction in the next video we are going to study about the mechanism of enzyme reaction.